Hello everybody. So today for our class, please make sure that when you are in a seated position, you are super comfortable. We are going to stay seated for quite a while. And then please make sure to have a hand towel. You don't have to roll it up just yet, but we're going to use it to roll it up towards the end of our class for our relaxation. And um, yeah, just make sure that you're prepared. Also, whilst you're getting all the things, uh, the, the inspiration for today's class is the older and older I get, the more I start to realize that you almost watch like a pattern that people go through. So specifically in the new year, everyone's about this new year, new me. Everyone's almost giving up all these things in January. They're doing dry jam, they're giving up this, they're doing this, they're all of a sudden exercising. And my suggestion would be do not do that. <laughs> stop, stop doing those things. And really just allow yourself to kind of ease into the year because you have a whole year of being busy, of being productive and um, I read something quite interesting the other day, and you know, I lied and read anything. I read with my eyes on TikTok. But how important it is that as much effort you're going to put into your work, into your life, into your family, whatever it is, so as much effort as you're going to put in, let's say you're peaking at the top of your mountain, you also need to put that amount of effort into your relaxation, into your resting, into your recovery, into your rehab. So this is the inspiration for today's class, that we're going to look after your body. we probably only going to do one down dog but really just loosening up and going slow so still flowing with all the movements so the idea of putting one foot in front of the other but slowly you know you don't have to rush into things and you can do things slowly you have a whole year in front of you to do a lot of things so please be gentle on yourself move into the year slowly um, i promise you you're going to appreciate yourself more and more the more you just ease up a little bit being kind to yourself cool so there's the inspiration You've got your towel, you're gonna to make sure that you're super duper comfortable. Um, I am sitting on a meditation cushion. If you feel that you need to put your back up against the wall, please do. Placing the hands wherever they feel comfortable for you. And then when you're ready, beautiful people, I just want you to close your eyes, drop your chin slightly. And immediately just noticing your inhale, noticing your exhale. Noticing all the sounds you can hear around you, take them in, they are part of this moment. Making sure the brain isn't getting frustrated with sounds. What if you find that your brain's getting frustrated with simple things? Tell your brain, hey my babes, relax. And then just slowly, I want you to start to take a deeper breath in and deeper breath out. As you inhale, you expand into the belly. And as you exhale, feel that contraction into the belly. Now, taking the brain through the body and notice where there may be some tension, where you feel slightly uncomfortable. For me, immediately, my neck, my right hip. And now what I want you to do is just visualize that you're breathing into that space. You're going to breathe some relaxation into it. And as you exhale, I want you to imagine you're going to exhale into the universe, into the earth. And just allow the earth to take it. Allow the wind to take it. Allow whatever you believe in. Allow them to take it. But as they take it, imagine them smiling and almost just being grateful that you're allowed to offload in that way. So allow the heaviness, allow the tension to release from these spaces, from the body, with every exhale. You inhale into that space. Exhale, allow the body to release. And then you just allow your body to release tiny bits of tension. It doesn't have to be this drastic sensation or feeling that all of a sudden you exhale, oh, release, I feel the mind's like, not what I'm saying. <laughs> what I'm saying is just take a few moments to breathe, to not overthink it, to not respond, to not react, to just watch. Breathe in, connect. <sighs> Exhale, you release. So 
And as you work with this, just feel that the body starts to relax a little bit deeper. Now we're taking that breath into the heart. You're going to do exactly the same thing. We breathe into that heart center. As you exhale, releasing stale, stagnant energy. Keeping the face up, keeping the eyes closed, breathe into that space. And if you feel the brain gets distracted, it starts to talk, come back to your breath. If you need to, breathe into your brain, collect your thoughts. Exhale, release them. And come back to your heart. And then you'll feel that with every exhale, you're just allowing the body to relax, you're allowing the heart to relax just a little bit deeper. time shifting the focus into the skull and to your brain exactly the same thing stay disciplined breathe into your brain breathe into your head connect exhale you release you soften Slowly coming back to your natural breath. And as you sit here, just feel how wonderful the brain, the body feels. A small change, a baby change. And as you sit here in the brain and the body, just dedicate time to moving slow. And when you're ready, beautiful people, take that deep breath in. And as we exhale, slowly dropping the chin to your chest. Slowly just blinking those eyes a couple of times, getting the eyes used to the light. And when you're ready, gently lifting your head up. Staying in that seated position. If you feel that you're desperate to move the legs, you are more than welcome to just give them a little shake. But um, really try not move your body again. There, there's so many things. Don't beat yourself up if you need to move your legs. And then also just try to get a little bit more discipline in the body that you don't always need to be. Okay. So lengthening into that beautiful spine, opening up into the shoulders. We're going to drop into that right ear. Take the right hand to the outside of the head. Gently pull into your neck. Almost feel that you're pulling that left shoulder down slightly. Feeling that stretch. Feeling that opening and then slowly releasing the hand releasing the head now drop that chin into that left definitely not your right armpit pull that hand to the back of your head now gently pull it a little bit deeper feeling that stretch just further into the trapezium muscles and smoothly releasing the hand releasing the head and moving on to the opposite side dropping the ear to the shoulder first feel that stretch into your neck Soften into the face, take a few breaths in, a few breaths out. And then releasing the head, change the position of the chin. Pull the head down, feel that stretch. And then smoothly releasing the hand, releasing the head, lengthening into the spine. We're going to interlace both hands. Drop the chin to your chest, interlace that. Ooh, take the hands to the back of your skull. Pull those elbows forward. Pull that chin toward your chest. Close those eyes. Breathe in, breathe out. My brain is just going to get used to recording again. Deep exhale. And then you're releasing. When you're ready. Slowly releasing the hands, slowly releasing the head. I'm kind of trying to talk myself into a class today. So you can obviously hear I'm getting lost. This is a good thing. 
Right, you're going to stay exactly the way you are. I'm just moving to the back of the mat so that you can see our movements. So if you're sitting cross legs or if you're sitting on your knees, it doesn't matter. You're still going to do the same movement, just improvise a little bit. So I want you to interlace the hands. We're going to point the hands or the palms facing an opposite direction. We're going to inhale as we lift those arms up. We open up into the armpits, into the rib cage. A little bit more challenging when you're sitting in your free seat. And as we exhale, we're going to pull those arms towards the knees, towards the ankles. Drop the chin to your chest. And then we start to get inhale, we open up. Exhale, we drop. Close those eyes. Inhale, we open up. Exhale, we drop. Inhale, open up. Exhale, drop. And last one. Inhale, opening up into the body. And holding this position with the body now, activate into the rib cage, tilt into that pelvis. We're going to release into the hands, point those fingers up towards the ceiling. When you're ready, take a deep breath in. If you're panicking, good. And as you exhale, gently twist over into the right side, taking that left hand to the right knee, to the right thigh, right hand to the back of you. Inhale, we pull those arms back to your center. Exhale, we twist the opposite way. Close those eyes, breathe in. Exhale, we twist. Now, listening to my breath. Bigger exhale, soften into the body, soften into the face. Smooth exhale. And going into our last two. Going into our last one. Big exhale. Inhale, coming back to your center. Lengthening into that body, lengthening into the arms. Now hinging at the hips, suck that belly in, dropping the hands to the floor. And everyone, imagine that you're dropping the forehead to the floor. Again, if you're doing this with crossed legs, that is absolutely fine. Completely relax into the head, feel that stretch into the spine, into the rib cage. Softening into your beautiful face again. Close those eyes. Take smooth the breaks in. Smooth the breaks out. As you exhale, feel the body relaxes. The body softens deeper and deeper into your stretch. Now, everybody lifting your head up. Looking towards your fingertips, I want you to find a spot beyond your fingertips. Not too far, obviously. And then try and reach your fingers a little bit deeper into your stretch. And again, drop the chin to your chest. Feel the intensity. Again, as you exhale, feel that body relax, feel it soften. And then smoothly, when you feel ready, start to roll that body up. Dragging the hands back towards the legs, allowing the chin to leave the chest last. Feeling that beautiful release into the body, opening up into the chest. And when you're ready, beautiful people, shifting your body onto all fours. Hands are coming underneath those shoulders and knees are underneath your hips. Spreading into your fingers, placing weight into your knuckles. And then just making sure that you're making that box shape with the body. We're going to work with our breath. We're going to exhale into that angry cat. You want to feel almost that you're pushing the floor away from you. Pushing up and out of those shoulders, out of those armpits. Drop the chin to your chest. And as you inhale, we'll roll into the spine. Try to keep those elbows straight. And then as you lift that tailbone up, as you lift the head up, feel that compression into the base of your spine. So as you exhale, we decompress, we create space. As you inhale, we create that stretch into the front of the body, into the throat, and feel that compression into the spine. body actually works as you work into this movement. Your 
brain is focused on the movement. Your brain is not all over the show, but it is. Breathe into your brain, connect your thoughts. Exhale, release them. And then come back to our movement. We're going for our last two. We're going into our last one. Slowly pull the body back to that center position. Feel the activation, feel the intensity into this. Now working one hand at a time or both. If you're doing one hand at a time, please use your non-dominant hand first. And then we're just going to work into those spider hands we lift up and we roll back down. So watch as I lift up, I push more weight into my belly, into my quads, and then I roll down. Lifting up. Dropping down. Again, closing those eyes. If you're dropping into both of those hands, we're going to start gentle rocks into the wrist. Again, keeping the belly active as you shift that body forward. Just so that you make sure you're not taking all your weight on the wrists, especially if you're struggling. And then again, close those eyes, feel you pushing weight into the knuckles, pull back. We're going for our last three. Two. back to that starting position this time tucking the toes under we're going to keep the position into the body we push back into the hands we push back into the feet feeling that stretch try and make sure big toe baby toes on the floor keeping the toes tucked under we shift forward exhales our back inhale we shift forward close those eyes exhale shift back inhale open up Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last exhale, we're pushing back into those toes. This time we're holding it. We're dropping the chin to your chest. Feel that stretch into your feet. Big exhale. And slowly lifting that body back. Releasing those feet, pull the tail towards those heels. Pull those arms towards the knees, keeping a gap in between the legs. We're gonna drop that right wrist onto the floor, turn the bicep to face forwards. Take that left hand, push into the palm of the hand, feel that release into your wrist. Big exhale. And then we're gonna go to the opposite side. Left hand drops into the floor, pushing that bicep to face forwards. And take the right hand, push into it, feel that release. Slowly coming up. And shifting that body onto all fours, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath those hips. Look around, readjust the way that you need to. Ah, big breath in, big breath out. You're going to hear that I breathe all the time, my babies. Breathe. Breathe loud when you need to. Exhale loud when you need to. I promise you it's such a lovely release. And um, yeah, just breathe. Breathe loud. Don't worry about what, what happens if you breathe loud. It, it feels good. Right, we're working into those lower half of the glutes. So we're first just going to warm up into the leg. We're just going to create that rocking into the leg. Watch that I'm not overextending. I'm not pushing or straightening into the leg. I'm literally just rocking into it. I'm pushing weight into my knuckles. I'm keeping a box shape with the body. I'm going to close my eyes, making sure you're spreading into the fingers. You should feel quite a bit of pressure into the hands. We are using them quite a bit. Rocking that leg for three, two, and one. Dropping into that right knee, moving over into the left side. We're just swinging into that leg, lubricating into the knee, the hip. Closing those eyes and taking a smooth breath in. Slow breath out. Three, two, and one. Gently 
dropping into that left knee, moving over into the right side, we lift it up and down. Baby fire hydrant, we're not trying to get that knee high, we are just creating movement into the hip. Close those eyes, again readjust the position of the weight in the hands. Let me tell you, my hands are on fire. So like we did, I'm taking my breath into my hands. Exhaling some of that painful push out. And we're swinging that leg for three, two, and one. Don't worry, I didn't forget. Let's go left side, feel that there. Babies breathe. Mm -hmm. Go for another three, two, and one. Gently dropping into that left knee. Gently even just shaking those hands out a little bit one by one. Shoo, wee. Knowing that the body is strong. Knowing that you can take deeper breaths in, deeper breaths out, and not always panic, my darlings. Right, spreading into those fingers, pushing weight into the knuckles, tuck the toes under, and transfer it back down, down, big exhale. Feeling that beautiful rush of blood into the brain, feel that you're pushing the heels a little bit deeper into the earth. Let's go breathe in, we're going to lift those heels up off the floor, both at the same time. Exhale, push those heels a little bit deeper into the floor. Breathe in, breathe out, close those eyes, breathe in, breathe out, and last one, breathe in, we're holding those heels up for five, four, three, two, and one, gently pushing those heels a little bit deeper into the floor, feeling that pressure. Feeling that you can open up a bit deeper, oh, open up a bit deeper into your back, pull the shoulders away from the ears. Now gently walking both legs out at the same time, so bending and straightening into one leg. Making sure to relax your head immediately. I have to remind myself to relax my head. Guys, close those eyes and just feel that body releasing. Going for another three, two. Pushing both heels a little bit deeper into the earth. Feel it, feel it, feel it. Looking in between those hands, step across those ankles. Sit that body into your full seat position. Yo, feeling that beautiful release into your wrists, because that's actually how they feel. And gently grabbing that front ankle with both hands. And working with our breath immediately, we're going to exhale, pull back, making those rolls. If you need to look at your rolls, love them, love them. And as you inhale, you're going to push into the pubic bone, push into the chest, drop that head back, feel the stretch into your jaw. Big exhale, we pull back. Inhale, we open up. Now when you're ready, close those eyes, just allow the body to move. No need to breathe in so much. Keep it with breath. Into your last two. Going into your last one. And slowly bringing that body back to your center. Bringing that beautiful release into the body. You might even feel that you have a slight headache. Just allowing that body to really deep tight. And when you're ready, guys, keeping it if it goes slow, that you just want to be kind, gentle to the body. You're going to grab your hand towel and you're going to place it into our lower back, into our lower back. Again, really struggling to talk today. This is one of my first videos I've recorded for the new year. So, my brain's still on holiday. Right, so we're placing that little rolled up towel into your lower back. You want to feel that it's not, you kind of just got to play around. So you can put it a little bit higher up 
a little bit closer towards your coccyx. You've just got to feel what works for you today. And then what I want you to do is pull both knees into your chest. And immediately just feel that lovely release into your lower back. Some of you it might be a little bit intense, but breathe. So, exactly the way we started our class. Instead of panicking, you can feel it in the body, the feet start to do weird things. Try relax into the feet, try relax into those arms. Feel that intense push into the belly. A deep opening into your back, a deep opening into that lower back. Close those eyes, breathe into the uncomfortable spaces. And with every exhale, the body softens, the body relaxes. deeper. And then smoothly releasing both knees. You can drop one foot at a time. You can drop both at the same time. Whatever works for your body. Nicely done. And then gently guys, squeezing into the glutes. We're going to lift that towel or take the towel away from that back. This time we're going to lift the body up. If you want to roll that towel maybe just a little bit tighter. A little bit tight. And this time we're placing it into the middle section of our shoulder blades. So our neck is coming off the towel, please. You're going to place it into that section, into the body. It comes off onto the floor. And we're literally just going to lie and relax. We're going to take quite a few breaths in, quite a few breaths out. I'm just going to fix my pants. And um, you're going to feel it gets really, really uncomfortable in certain moments in the stretch. And what I want you to focus on is really breathing deeper breaths in, deeper breaths out. Once we have laid down, normally we'll open to have the arms straight, a little bit higher up, a little bit higher up towards the ears. You can bend them slightly, just depending on the pressure you would like in your body. Legs are going to be straight, a little bit wider than your hips. Just you've got to maneuver it around a little bit. It can be quite challenging. There you go. Move the fleshy pieces of the bum out of the way. I can really only do two movements, but. Kind of just wiggle around, see what works for you. And then when you're ready, when you're settled, you are allowed to fack as much as you need to if you're not comfortable. Again, it does get quite uncomfortable, so just breathe into it. But when you are ready to be comfortable with uncomfortable, please close those beautiful eyes. Mm. We started our class. It's time to take a deep breath in and a deeper breath out. Feel that inhale, feel that exhale. As you inhale, there's that expansion into the belly, and as you exhale, there's that contraction. Now, taking the brain to where you feel most uncomfortable physically in the body, use your breath. Inhale. Into that space, feet lift. And as you exhale, you just soften, you release. start to feel the deeper breath in, deeper breath out. And if you find this is challenging because your brain's like, oh my word, my body's dying, it's hurting, or your brain's just busy with other things, that is the point, guys. It's supposed to be challenging. So 
Keep your face relaxed, tell your brain, brain, I'm still doing yoga, let's breathe. Deeper breath in. Deeper breath out. Keep breathing. Two more deep breaths in, two more deep breaths out, then come back to the natural breath. Rolling over to one side. Be relaxed. Don't rush yourself out of it. Don't be crazy. And just grab that towel, releasing it from the spine. You're going to roll back onto your back. And this time, taking that towel underneath the neck, you can push it into the neck or into the lower part of the skull. Remove the fleshy pieces of the bum out of the way. Place the hands wherever they feel comfortable for you. And then you will those eyes and again gently just notice your natural breath in and your natural breath out so often you'll hear that people sigh in yoga classes also just a really nice way to release energy guys so you know if you feel that you just need to have a big exhale do it release the when you need to Sigh when you need to. And then just slowly start to take that deeper breath in, deeper breath out. And if you feel that it helps your concentration a little bit better, literally repeat in your head, inhale. Exhale. When I was in India, I'm not even lying, my guru just said used to go inhale. Exhale. So if you have to have that voice in your head to keep your brain disciplined, guys. Repeat things in your head just so that you're training your brain so that eventually, I promise you, it does become easier that you're able to just lie here and feel your breath in. Feel your breath out. Again, just a few more. We're not going to be here forever. Now that's all you can hear. Inhale. Exhale. <laughs> right, beautiful people. Keep your eyes closed. Two more deep breaths in, two more deep breaths out. And then come back to your natural breath in. As you lay here, I feel how wonderful it feels to breathe deep breaths in, deep breaths out. Feel how wonderful it feels to move slow, to giggle, to release. Just slowly, again, don't allow the brain to rush you. Gently start to wiggle out into the hands, into your feet. Listen to all the sounds around you. They are part of the meditation. They are part of the whole class. And then when you're ready, taking those arms up above your head, give your body a beautiful stretch, waking up slowly. You can yawn, you can sigh, you can wiggle. And then gently pull the knees into your chest. Give your body a good squeeze. Relax the feet, relax the face. Gently rock the body side to side, massaging your lower back. Take 
If you would like to, you can roll over to the right hand side into your fetal position. Else you can just stay on your back, whatever you feel like doing. And here, yeah, just take a moment to take a deep breath in and deep breath out. And when you're ready, my beautiful people, help your body back up into a free seat. Into that half lotus, full lotus, hero's pose, whatever feels good for your body. Lengthening into that beautiful spine, extending into the crown of your head. Noticing the gentle movement of your body as you breathe in, as you breathe out. And when you're ready, taking that deep breath in, lifting both arms up, gathering yourself. And as we exhale, we pull everything back into the heart, we drop the chin into your chest. And today, just taking a bow, acknowledging that I deserve to go slow. You deserve to slow down. Yeah. So thank you so much for slowing down mind, body, and soul with me today. Namaste. Makosi.